Hello, welcome back to r, &R Survival. My name is Lloyd. Today I want to do a tutorial on how to set up your guard points um, for your arrows. And the materials you will need is a fill point, 130 grain. A um, insert for your arrow shaft. Two safety pins, because we're going to do four points. A threaded bar or a threaded bolt. Um, what I did was I went to the hardware store, wasn't sure of this size. Um, they have a wall of different measurements. You put it in there and you screw it in there. I'm not sure of that measurement because I wasn't, to be honest with you, I wasn't paying attention. But go to your local hardware store and um, you can figure out what measurements you need. Um, I paid a hundred of a dollar thirty for like two feet. Now, without further ado, we're going to get started. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut our safety pins to size. Just like so. So easy. So easy. It's so easy. It's lemon squeezy. That's my pun for the day. Alright. I'm going to do the same to the other side. And a lot of people don't like them short. Some do. It's all on your preference. You don't have to cut them short. You can cut them long. Um, I like them short because I want them. I want the the barbs to dig into the fish and they ain't going nowhere and they, they won't go through either so I got my safety pins and these are large I think I paid like a dollar fifty for fifty safety pins at Dollar General so right now what I'm going to do is uh, stop poking myself I'm going to put it on here And I'm going to put it all the way to the end. And what me what possessed me to do this video, because I wanted to do this video for a little while. Just haven't had the time. Now I got the time. Um, my friend Bill, we were um, down at my friend Justin's uh, sling bow shooting. Oh, we were having a blast yesterday evening. We were actually shooting in the rain. Anyway, uh, he wanted to for me to do, these video, to do this video so he can learn how to make this guard point set up. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to get it nice and tight. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to bend it back. And sometimes this takes them a little bit of adjusting to get the points just right. I'm going to do the other side. And what I'm doing is I'm creating a four point. Okay. Like four point um, bar system, barb, sorry, I'm sorry, barb system. So I'm creating four points. So when it digs into the fish, it's going to stay there. It's not going to go through the fish. And I've done some price points and some research on the guard points and the different ones out there. Um, the cheapest guard point you're going to um, you're going to pay for is like between seven to eight dollars. That's the cheapest garb, just the point itself, without the arrow shaft. Um, a lot of people, when they do bow fishing, they don't, or, or, or sling bow fishing, or actually bow fishing, compound fishing. What they do is they get the just the fiberglass shaft, and they don't even have fletchings on there. Get that nice and tight. And I'm going to bend that back, just like so. Sometimes, like I said, it takes a little bit of of cantankering with these for some reason don't know why okay it's bending on me I'm gonna have to fix that Man, come on. now if you make a mistake and they don't bend the right way no problem just get another one and do you know? There's no problem. Like I said, these are pretty inexpensive. And as far as 
price goes. Um, I like a little bit of an arch and a bend to mine. Um, so it's basically just getting your preference on how you want it. And this one, see this one bend the wrong way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off. And I'm just going to go ahead and um, show you what it looks like with another setup I have. So this way I can save time. And I already got some pre-cut. I always take a bunch of pre-cut ones with me uh, when I go fishing. Um, because sometimes when you're taking it off the fish, the fish wants to be cantankerous and move all over the place. And when you're unscrewing it from the top of the arrow shaft, what happens? You, you might lose one of your, your points. So, you know, I'm a big believer in being prepared. So I always keep some prefabric ones some pre prefabric ones with me. So I can just change them out real quick. And I also keep some extra safety pins with me just in case I I run out of my fa uh, prefabric pre prefabric ones. And all it is now, check it out. You got your homemade guard point. Ready to go fishing. And this spread, and that's why I do the four points. So it goes into the fish, digs into the fish from the sides. And these things are sharp. After I cut them, they are sharp. Are you, if you want to, you can make them more sharper um, at the ends. You can even dig out a little bit with a file, just a tiny bit, to make barbs on the side. Um, that's a great idea. Um, I just thought of that. Um, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this and put this on here. So, give me a second, and I can show you what it looks like on the arrow. It's really super duper easy to make. It's inexpensive. I can probably make 15 of these that I pretty much can pay for one professional gar point tip. And not only is it inexpensive, but it's really easy to make. And it's not time consuming. I can probably make one of these just out in the field, you know, when I go fishing. You know what I'm saying? That's how easy it is to make. It takes me a little time. I, I want to make sure everything is pre-fabric before I go out fishing. Because I have more time fishing. Anyway, that's your guard point. And like I said, you can bend these however you want them. Um, but I'm just basically made like a grappling hook kind of design. Um, so the barbs go in and they stay in the fish. And, you know, you got your fish. It ain't going nowhere. Goes into the fish. You pull back and the barbs stick right into the fish. So that will do our tutorial for today on the guard point set up for the arrow shaft. Um, definitely encourage comments. Definitely encourage feedback. Um, tell me what you think about my channel. Um, subscribe. Um, and thank you for watching. You'll have a great day. And don't forget, recycle, reduce, and reuse. Have a great day.